Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. So we've got a question from a local boarder uh, coming from Port Alberni. Port Alberni is on Vancouver Island, and it's actually at the end of a sound called Barkley Sound. It's sort of almost to this side of the island, i.e. on the east side of the island, but it's actually an amazing place. Love it. Boated there lots. One of my favorite places. Epic. Barkley Sound, by the way, is a wonderful, wonderful place on Earth, um, if you haven't heard about it. Uh, definitely worth checking out the pictures. It's breathtaking. Actually, what brought me here actually to British Columbia was actually the sounds on west coast of Vancouver Island. That's why I'm here doing what I'm doing right now, talking about boating, is actually those places. So this boater from Port Alberni asks, Jeff, I've been watching your videos and wondering where do I put a battery fuse block on a battery? Um, if I've installed already an inline fuse for my inverter, do I need a class T fuse for my inverter? Great question, actually. Um, so first of all, Let's remember, right, and I start always hashing this out, is that there's different fuses for different purposes. We also have to remember that Class T fuses are not ignition proof. So if you have a gasoline engine, you cannot put a Class T fuse in that engine room. And so what I'll do in those situations, we'll install a ANL fuse. An ANL fuse is uh, this fuse right here. That's an ANL fuse. Uh, and we'll install that near the battery, and then we'll have the inverter be powered outside of the engine room, because you can't install an inverter in a gasoline engine room. And then near the inverter, we're gonna install a Class T fuse. And the reason is one fuse is for the wire, and then the other fuse, which is this fuse right here, Class T fuse, that fuse is for the inverter. So, Yes, it's possible to have one fuse for the whole circuit, right? Meaning you start with a class T and it fuses not only the wire, but the appliance. But if you start with an ANL, probably because you're trying to be ignition protected within the engine room, then the fuse near the inverter should definitely be a class T uh, and it should not and, or cannot be mounted because it is not ignition protected in the engine room. So good question um, and it's important to sometimes remember that you fuse you can fuse both a wire and an appliance with different fuses for different purposes so that's a great question and thanks for asking Rob thank you for watching this PYS video if you've got further questions ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms also support to keep this YouTube channel ad free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.